Hello everyone, Tizala Reis here. I am going to teach you a awakening strength from Yoga Flow. I am pleased that you're here to do the class and um, the things that you might want to have in hand is that you can imagine some yoga blocks if you have it. And take a moment to come to the floor. Um, even if you do this class in the middle of the day, this I will start to gentle and then we'll create a flow towards the end or the middle and the end. So come into a nice position where you're laying all the way down the floor. And if you have blocks or pillows, place them under the knees to give you some leg support and try to relax the hips completely in your back. Take here one hand at your belly. So you can take your right hand at the belly, the left hand at the heart, and just take a moment to settle in within the ground, taking nice, long, full breaths in. And gently on the exhale, feel here your lips close as the air comes to the back of your throat, out through your nostril. Feeling the breath coming in. Exhale, feel the release, releasing any tensions, any worries, and giving this time for self, compassion, kindness. Finding gratitude that you're giving this time to be here present, to do something for you. Noticing that ocean sound breath, the ujjayi pranayama breath. As you feel the breath going through your chest, belly, and then trying to get the air from the belly off and chest. Find yourself here calm, grounded. And then slowly here, go ahead and extend the legs. So if you have the props, remove them now to the side. And I want you to adjust the hands and press those arms long away from the feet. So really feel your whole body reaching away, creating the energy from the feet to the hands, lengthening. And then go ahead and bring the right knee into your chest. As you bring that knee in, circle the ankle twice over one way and twice the other way. And then slowly alternate legs, taking the end of the leg in, circle the ankle twice, circle the foot around the other way. And then bring both knees into the chest. With one hand in each knee, you're going to circle the knees out and in together. So thinking coming closer to you, out, forward, away, and back. Do that one more time. With the breath, switch directions. Very good, and then tucking the feet down to the floor. Open the arms, swinging your knees a little side to side. And I'll play some nice calm music in the background. Just to help you to stay within the calm mood, present here. So we're gonna come back to metal, taking the hands on the back side of the legs, rocking the feet in, as you come up, I want you to take the sole of the feet together and exhale, relax those arms out. So you're gonna roll back on the inhale. As you exhale, release. And when you release, you can make a half sound. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, two more. One more time. And gently return. We're gonna come into all four hands and knees. And here we're just warming up the spine by opening forward into the cow and exhale round up into the cat, thinking head tucked in and inhale open. And exhale, feel the weight shift back to the knees and round as you scoop up. Inhale, exhale. Good. From here we're gonna go into the puppy. So take those arms down in front. You may rest the elbows or try to extend the arms and thinking here to releasing the head down. As you breathe, thinking your chest opening down, long spine as the sitting bones here reaching back and the fingers create traction into the mat. 
We're gonna go into one arm, so kicking here your left arm back and reaching through your right arm out in front and looking towards the left. Or you can just keep your eyes closed and feel that right arm nice and long, reaching away from the hip. And we're switching sides, taking the right arm back, the left arm in front, and create that reach extension as you're opening through the left side of your body. As you drive the hip back, come back to center. Now we're gonna warm up those legs by taking here the left heel back and feel traction as you draw that heel down. As you have the ball of the feet here into the left heel press down, go ahead and hover that right knee up off the ground and then gently do the same thing on the other side. So take the right leg, feeling that nice stretch through your calf, either the left toes under, stretching that right heel back down a little bit more. Bring both legs in, take both feet over to the right, look back towards the feet, so think shoulder back to the hip, and then everything goes over to the left, draw the left shoulder back to the hip as you look back, do that one more time on each side, over to the right, inhale and transition, exhale over to the left, and then come back to center, we're going into a nice first downward dog, so here elbows kind of soft, keeping the knees hovering the ground, and then gently lifting the hips up and off, away from the hands. We're gonna paddle one heel down at a time. Feel that extension and stretch from one leg at a time. We're gonna come back with both heels lift, shift the weight forward, lift up through the sitting bones, softening those knees and taking more of the energy through the hips, away from the hands. Inhale, shifting forward. Exhale, take a back and think opening those sitting bones to the back wall. Let's do that again. Inhale, forward in a plank. As you exhale, opening, lengthening back. From here, we're gonna bend knees, looking towards the hands. We're just gonna do a little paddle heel forward. Go ahead, bend the knees, taking the weight off your hands. The hands can meet into the opposite elbow, folding the spine and just rocking the hips a little side to side. Do this from the front view, shapes like this. Just feel the weight of the head, heavy, reaching down away from the hips. Then from there, we're gonna press into the feet, bring your arms around, sweep them all the way up. Looking up, feel your belly button pulling in. As you exhale, take the hands down to the heart. So we're gonna go into a flow as you come to the very front of the mat. The feet here are together with the big toe together, not necessarily the heels. On the inhale, with the abdominal in, lifting those arms up, bring your gaze up to the sky, open, bend your knees, exhale, fold yourself in. We're going to take a big step with your left foot back. You're going to hold that as you look forward, straight ahead. And from here, just feel the left leg here reach back, creating that extension. You might bend it a little bit your knee if you feel tightness through the hip flexor, and then try to extend the leg behind you. Do a little bend and draw the energy through your back left heel. Now we're gonna meet the right foot next to the left. Finding the plank, rest the knees as we're gonna take the chest to our push to Durango with the elbows close to the body, taking the chest between the hands, point the toes back, coming up into Cobra. Elbows snugged in, heart drawing forward on the inhale. Exhale, down, press with the hands, take it over back to shell pose. Take a moment there to rest. Feel the exhale, lengthen, toes under, downward dog as you draw the hips back. Looking towards the hands. Now I want you to take that right foot forward, just that same leg that you had the lunge before. Look straight ahead, feel that extension through the left heel. Adjust the left foot a little bit closer. And then here I want you to bend the left knee, bring your right toes to the sky. So I'm gonna walk my fingers back a little bit. This is where your blocks can come very useful. If you find that this is really extremely hard, you can take the blocks higher, maybe lower or all the way flat. If you feel pretty flexible, you can take both hands on the ground. I'm gonna use my blocks here. So we're gonna take the weight and shift it forward. And then from here, with the blocks or without, we're gonna to try to relax the head over towards the right leg. As you're here, take the right hand at the hip, on top of your hips, and feel here that the hips are uh, aiming to get them level. Sometimes one hip tends to go higher or lower than the other, or one shifts forward, one shifts back. So try to draw your right hip back 
and keeping them level. Well, that right hand gives you a good self-awareness of what are, what's ha really happening into your body. And then once you feel that they're pretty even, release the hand and just exhale, feel your head relaxed over the head. Nice long breath. Go ahead, shift the weight to the front. As you bend the knees, take your arms around, lengthen back to the very top and draw the hands to the heart. Now notice the difference between both legs as we're gonna alternate sides. So on an inhale, lengthen, open, exhale, fold. This time is the right leg here, big step back and looking forward. Trying to extend here through the right heel. Now you can gently bend that knee and extend. Gently bend, extend, gently bend, extend. Let's now here plant the hands and take that left foot back as we're gonna go to Chaturanga. So again, you can rest the knees or if you feel warm to keep the legs straight, you could do that as we down. And then we're gonna come up into a cobra. Maybe a cobra is a little bit higher this time. Keep your elbows close to the body, heart forward, belly button pulling into the spine, breathing in, shoulders down, toes are under, shift back, find your downward dog. As you exhale, relaxing the head between the arms, not too low, keeping your shoulders away from the ears, feel that length through the hips as if somebody is pulling your hips back away from the hands. Taking full breaths in, full breaths here, nice inhale. As you exhale, feel the distance as the weight shifts more towards the feet. Try to be light on your toes. You might find that you can pick them up off the mat. Inhale. Connection here from the ground, from those hands, as it goes up along the spine, back down. As you exhale, the heels trying to settle, gentle. They may not touch the ground, they may never even touch the ground, but you're trying to just feel that weight shifting back. One more deep breath. Very good, the left foot will step in. Okay, we're gonna now here bend that right knee. So this is where you could bring your blocks in in hand, shifting the weight back. Try to draw those toes apart on that left foot. And then shift the weight forward. And this is where you could use the blocks or maybe you don't need them as you release yourself down over the left leg. This is where we're gonna take that left hand on top of those hips, trying to level the hips. Try to keep here your feet point, pointing forward. Thinking long spine. So remember, if you're using the block, you can even use that support to make sure the back is straight. Thinking left hip here, drawing back. And then when you feel comfortable to fold, try to on the exhale, relax the head. Creating that nice, mindful breath. Shift the weight to the front, over to the left foot, lengthen, exhale, settle here, down over the legs, bend your knees, the arms will sweep up, lengthen back to the very top, feel tall, and hands at the heart. And on the inhale, left, open, exhale, fold. Lengthen the spine, taking now your feet back, you can hop if you feel comfortable to hop or just step in one foot at a time. Taking the chest between the hands, elbows in. This is where the straight leg shut around there. Now inhale, open. You might be warmed up now for the upper dog. And if you're doing the upper dog, try to have the weight on your top of your feet. Maybe the knees can come up. You can really feel the energy as the chest lifts up to the front. And then exhale. Take it all the way back into a nice, Downward dog. In a downward dog, go ahead and adjust the feet together. Take the right foot up to the sky. We're going to take the time here to open the hip. So you're going to open that right hip, take the foot to the left, look under the right arm. Try to settle the left heel, heel, heel down. On the exhale, take that right knee in to the outside of your elbow. 
and then you extend it all the way back and do that two more inhale exhale this time hold the leg all the way up then go ahead and open the hip by taking that foot to the left now you can stay here if you like to flip the dog you take the foot to the ground and you try to extend and draw the hips up as you reach the arm back find your expression into the wild thing extend that leg all the way up we're going to cross it so if i'm modifying it we're going to take the knee down and open into the side stretch here if you can extend that leg across try to extend the leg across feel those obliques working then you're taking the left hand return right leg up to the sky and from here we're going to try to do a single leg vinyasa so keeping that foot in the air down inhale open forward exhale back downward dog connecting with your breath Four breaths, in and out through your nose, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. So let's the feet together. Here we have the left leg going to the sky, look under the left arm, bend in the knee. This could be a variation right here. Or if you can flip, you're going to take the flip, extension, find your your variation where it makes you feel alive then you take the leg back to the sky this is where you could bring that knee down and open or if you feel good to extend the leg under you try to do that variation as you go into that side plank try to keep here your weight over that left hand so you're not stressing the shoulder take the right hand back left leg goes back to the sky. Now we have the knee pulling into the front. We'll do that three times. One, take it back. Exhale, two, take it back. And three, take it back. Now keep that leg in the air as you go through that single leg. And inhale, open forward. Exhale, back. Downward dog. And you might take a nice big sigh. Go ahead, gently rest those knees, and I'll give you an arm a break, taking those arms back into a nice restorative shallow pose, letting the shoulders relax forward. Find your breath, nice and full. And roll as you're coming up to the knees. So have your knees about your shoulders uh, out. We're gonna then take the left arm in a circle, Bring your toes here under to give you a better reach and try to reach here your left hand towards your left foot. The right arm comes up. So think of a gentle back bend. We're not gonna go too deep yet so you can open your shoulder more towards the left. And then slowly come back, we switch. Take the left, left arm. Maybe even bring your gaze down if that feels right or up. And then return and here we come back to our hands. We're gonna to return to the downward dog. We're gonna bring the right leg to the sky, but this time you're gonna cross that right knee towards the left side, and then you bring it back and cross it. And bring it back and cross and bring it back. Take that foot down, switching directly right to the left as the left crosses right. And bring it back, inhale exhale so we're working on strength here exhale back take the foot down settle here your knees adjust the hands under your shoulders we're going to go into a thread the needle here by taking the right arm to the sky you're going to thread it under so we're working on twist which helps digestion try to relax your head if this is too much into the head what you may do to um, help is to have your head rest and not have necessarily the shoulder down. So you don't want to feel too much pressure into the head. Now, if your head is okay to be down, 
and you don't feel any tension on the shoulder, you could try to extend here your left arm. And reach, feeling that nice twist. Come back, we'll switch sides. So now we have the right hand down, left arm comes up. Taking that hand down, so remember you can add the block if you need to. Feeling that nice twist, draw those hips back. Add the arm maybe as an option. Return and back. Good. So from here, we're going to take your downward dog once again. And this time, you're going to take your right leg to the outside of your right hand. So you're going to take the right leg to the sky, take it to the outside of the hand, and then settle here, your left knee to the ground. From here, we're going to open the knee to the side. So if I was doing this from the side angle, so you see what I'm doing here, you are going to open the right knee out to the side. And once you're there, you're going to add a little twist again, but with the help here of the hand supporting on the thigh, think of drawing the leg away from your chest, and then you're going to look behind you as you exhale, creating that twist, and as you're breathing, thinking and inviting freedom through your right hip. As you return forward, you're going to take that right foot to the left, and try to level the hip. So this is where you could use a block under that right hip to give you more support if you need that support because you don't want to feel this on your knee joint. You want to feel this as a stretch on your hip and then you go forward to find perhaps those elbows. If you need the head support, you can also use the other block if you've got two for the head. In my case, I don't need the block for my hip, so I'm going to let my hips come a little bit lower. Try to square your hips. Try to, as you're breathing, letting your shoulders relax so the elbows can go wider. You can melt down closer to the floor. Listen to the breath against the mat. So a lot of our dishes are stored in our hips. So I'd like for you to, as you're breathing, really try to release the hips. So whether it is from sitting too long, or if you were a runner, you might find that those hips are really tight. So we're trying to just settle it open. Whether um, you stand a lot, so hips tend to accumulate a lot of the tensions. So we're gonna release the hips, which also will help to release tensions, not just on the physical aspect, but too also mentally. Let it go, releasing as we're touching into our emotions here. Releasing any emotions, which means the feelings that being perhaps holding your back and feeling that you are carrying the world in your hips in this case, not necessarily shoulders. Now we're gonna come up. I want you to take the back left leg in front. So we're going to take it another twist here with the left coming forward. You might cross the leg all the way over. You can be in front, but if you can cross it over with the hip staying still on the mat, go ahead. Left arm behind you. Add that right arm. Feel tall as you look back over your shoulder. Returning forward, take that left leg back. And then leg to the sky and bring it down. Okay, just on itself, feel the hips going back. So here we're gonna take left foot outside of the left hand, resting here, the right knee, and open the chest forward, turning the toes up to the side. We're gonna repeat the same thing on the side here. So think of guiding your left knee away, opening your chest, exhale as you look back. Return to the front, and then from here we take that leg up to the sky. We're going to go into a pigeon, so the foot goes across. Cross it to the left, with the right left knee to the left, and the left foot to the right. Add the props, can be blocked under the glute, and then when you find the position right with the hips being squared, support yourself here to come down. Add whatever props there that you need to help you relax the torso. And as you find permission to go a little bit lower, go a little bit lower. Okay. 
Letting go, letting go, letting go. Good, we're gonna come up, shift the weight to the left, bring the right leg around. So trying to find your sitting bones, feeling nice and tall. Here, right hand behind you, wrap it in or use your elbow. Remember, you don't have to cross it, but if you can, go ahead or otherwise over here. And then create that twist, this time to the right side, helping digestion again by feeling the spine tall and using the right hand to help you to lift up. Exhale, twist back to the right, traction on the left elbow. Return to the front, taking those legs back and find downward dog. Inhale, plank, chaturanga down, open and forward, feel up and alive. Exhale, take your hips back as you find downward dog. As you find the downward dog, see if you can pick up those toes again, see if you can bring your weight a little bit, bit back. So I, you might see me here adjusting my hands a little bit back. I'm closing my downward dog position a little bit more. So now I'd like for you to feel more weight into your heels, down into the ground. What I'd like for you to now do is keeping the weight on the left hand and try to reach the right hand across and look back to the left. So think of really drawing the left hip back. Exhale, you might not be able to reach the hand all the way below, so the hand might be up and that's okay. Then shifting the weight a little bit forward, left hand comes across, think right hip here back. As you're looking at the shoulder, really feel that sensation more on that right foot as you spiral. Come to your knees this time, giving you a nice break. Come into the puppy, let your arms be long, long spine, and then roll yourself up. Now before, we did the camel with one hand at a time. Now we're gonna try to do both, both hands behind you. So tuck those toes here under. So options here can be just with the hands on the lower back, more like in the sacrum. If you can reach the hands all the way to the heels, you're gonna try to do that. So lengthen the spine, open the heart up. Then again, you can take the hands over to your heels if you feel like you can go that far. And once you're in that position, don't think of the neck so much, but more of the chest. So here my chin is actually tucking into the chest. So I'm checking in, making sure that the chest is opening, the shoulders snagging. If you feel comfortable with the head to go back, then you go ahead and relax your head. And creating that nice back bend. Moving forward, shift the weight back, return. Let me take those legs out in front of you. We are going now to go into a four fold. Now this can be done with the blocks under the knees if you need to modify it here. If the hamstrings is a not a flexible mo motion that you have going forward fold, you can do it this way. So which means you take your arms up, exhale, you're folding and you relax over the legs with those blocks under. If you feel pretty warm and you have the flexibility, then you don't need the blocks in this case. You're gonna to try to relax your spine over the legs with the legs in front of you. Lengthen, exhale, inhale, exhale. Knowing that in each breath is an opportunity to go a little bit more. One more, exhale. We're just going to make our way down. So scoot yourself forward, long arms, as you take your time to go down into the floor. Once you find yourself here, releasing into the ground, I want you to bend your knees, knock your knees in towards each other, arms open out to the sides, and not let one knee go down at a time. So here we are toward the end of our practice. I'm going to create a nice awakening, strengthening flow for you at home where it doesn't take a lot of time, but it gives you a good sense of a rejuvenation through the whole body, feeling strong at the same time, releasing tensions 
that are accumulated from, from day to day. So you can choose to do the Savasana with your knees bent and just being here carefully through the spine as you letting your whole body rest. You can also take those legs straight out or if you like to place the blocks under the knees you can. And just let here your body be settled, noticing your breath. Full and on inhale, exhale. Feel your whole body sinking into this present moment. Give yourself this minute to just feel settled, calm, relaxed, but in gratitude that you have taken this time for yourself. Not only here you work on flexibility through your body, but also here we are able to vision things with more flexibility as well throughout the world. Feel more open. As you feel yourself here on the mat, start to gently here move your ankles in circles. Let your hands open and close. Taking gently your head side to side. Adjust the feet together, interlace the fingers. Press those arms away from the feet. Feel your whole body long, curling into your side. And then coming into a sitting position. So whatever position feels here comfortable. If you, if you feel okay sitting like cross, go ahead. Just feel the spine aligned, hands on the knees. As you feel here, your body more centered, more balanced. The hands can come into the heart center. Send now your best self, your best version from the mat to the world. The highest in me bounds and honors with the highest of each one of you. Namaste. Make it into a great day. I'll see you next time.